This is non-calculator question number 12 from the April 2019 SAT. College Board gives us a quadratic equation and asks us to solve for V. So I'm going to use the quadratic formula without trying to factor because the answer choices clearly imply quadratic formula. V equals negative V plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. And I'm going to write A, B, and C off to the side so that I don't put them in the wrong place, and especially so I don't drop a negative. If I have a negative this time, they were nice enough not to give us one, even though we frequently drop them. So A is the V squared coefficient 4, B is the V coefficient 6, and C is the constant 1. According to the quadratic formula, V is negative 6 plus or minus square root. 6 squared is 36, minus 4 times 4 is 16, times 1 is still 16 over 2 times 4 is 8. So v equals negative 6 plus or minus root 20 over 8. Root 20 is root 4 times 5. So v equals negative 6 plus or minus root 4 times root 5 over 8, v equals negative 6 plus or minus root 4 is 2. I'm going to factor out a 2 from the numerator, and that's twice negative 3 plus or minus root 5. Factor out a 2 from the denominator, twice 4 is equal to v. 2 over 2 is 1, so that simplifies to negative 3 plus or minus root 5 over 4, and that matches choice A. Another perspective on this is they're asking whether the 3 is negative in choices A and B or positive in choices C and D. Since we started with a negative 6 over positive 8, we knew that was negative 3 over positive 4, so we're down to A, a or B, not C and D. And then we have either root 5 or root 13, when we see that 20 is 4 times 5, we expect it to simplify to a root 5. There's no path to a 13 there, so we know that this will be choice A and not B. College Board almost always requires the quadratic formula, so it's worth reviewing this and practicing it if you haven't used it recently. And come back soon for my next math video with Math There's Always More.